hi guys welcome to my first video uh, today i am going to demonstrate you the difference among atom and sublime and notepad plus uh, here we can see all these are these text editors but there is no much difference between sublime and atom and notepad plus is another thing check out here this is only and there is no themes for this uh, this have uh, not for this have uh, only tabbed okay, tabbed windows and a very powerful control replacement find replacement you can replace all the all the documents with uh, any word here whole world and uh, replacing okay this this is one of the basic features of the text editor these all features can present in Atom and Sublime. Okay, let's come to the Sublime. This is a very most popular. This is also paid and free version. But, uh, but free version is unlimited. But you have to you have to get a message. You have to pay something to avoid the uh, pop-up uh, box. Right. Uh, when it comes to Atom. This is uh, developed by GitHub team. Uh, it's very new. It started two years ago. Sublime is started ten years ago. So what's the difference between Sublime and this? Here we go to the explanation uh, here. Here you can see Atom developed by GitHub team and it was two years ago. It's a only text was created. Uh, here Sublime was created 10 years ago. So this is Sublime test and Notepad was 14 years ago. Uh, what's the difference between paid and free version of Sublime? You can see that uh, it asks you to buy every time, but you sometimes you may get frustration. But Notepad is the Notepad Plus is replacement of Notepad and Atom users backed by GitHub it's free and open source but it is free some paid and free trial you may get some irritation uh, okay you can see you can see here if you add in the file here it will get new tab because there is no text you can close this and, uh, you can select here whatever HTML when we see that it's automatically detects uh, but uh, use Java there is no, no different CSS okay JavaScript you change something but uh, this is actually HTML code you have to stick with HTML uh, this is PHP this is it's, uh, it's automatically selected what if I do something is changing but we have to select the right version of the language for this I don't know so both uh, both Atom and uh, Sublime have same features but Sublime is some kind of some old and uh, but yeah Atom is very new and getting popular very you can change the what okay guys this is you can change theme here Atom the client yeah this is when you see that you can see this this is Atom and this is Sublime you can preferences go to theme change this one and also color scheme so this is all about text editors don't confuse it with the ideas like red prints with some line oh. 